Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I've been sick the last few days, I'm very, very nasally, but the content has to go out and there's things that need to be done. As you can see, I got the trailer door powder coated that's matte black, so we won't have any rust issues. We also have something under the blue tarp that we probably won't get to in this video. Uh, that's something to come once I figure out what I wanna do with it. Today, I wanna move on to Crush. I wanna get this radiator from the front and put it somewhere in the back. I'm not entirely sure how difficult this process will be. However, we wanna make that happen. So the Jeep's actually pulling some weight right now. It doesn't run, so it's working good as a workbench. Crush is working as a tripod. I think I have most of these plastics un unbolted. So I think I should be able to remove this. Like that. Oh, wow, just like that, Crush looks like a whole new animal. My next race is May 26th. So I need to get crushed ready for that event. The last event, as you guys saw, I lost power steering about halfway through. I hit a tree or two. Not sure if that um, affected anything or if it was the temperature of the engine or the overall components. I don't remember the hot light coming on in the dash. I let it run on the track for probably about five, 10 minutes. Power steering didn't come back. I went back to the campsite, let it sit for maybe 45, 30 minutes, then the power steering came back and everything was working good. Now I didn't put this chicken wire here. This was on Crush when I first bought them. So the person that had this before me, I, I think they raced. But anyways, as you could see behind there, even with that screen in front of it, there's still some a lot of dirt in there. And a lot of the racers relocate these things to the back. Somewhere back there, they have a couple different options. One of them is like directly in the center here with the original radiator. Then there's ones that you can buy like a whole new radiator and a whole new mounting system that connect like from this little bracket here to that little bracket there and then the radiator sits right tight into here. We can kind of see the radiator better after removing a couple more plastics here. And now I'm understanding how this radiator got a little bit warm, maybe not hot enough for the template to come on. But as you can see, there's still a lot of stuff that got into the, in behind that chicken wire. It might be a little difficult for you to understand how muddy these things really get unless you own one of these things. But I mean, dirt flies into every crevice possible. I mean, if you have good tires, and then you add a whole bunch of torque that Crush produces, your tires can throw the dirt in front of you before you even get there, and then by the time you do get there, then it flies into your face. And then it gets behind your plastics and everything else. So this, this is no surprise. Whenever I work on Crush, it always seems that no matter what, I have to take the seat out. I had to take the seat out. These lines, the radiator lines, go right in between here, right besides the transmission here. Here's one of the lines, and the other line is below that line. So I had to take all that stuff off. I didn't have to take the air filter off, I just wanted to check it out, and that thing is dirty and it needs to be cleaned. So as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that time is of the essence. You have to be most efficient as possible. Like a lot of people are like, Dalton has so much money, he doesn't know what to do with it. He's like buying like Jeeps and Crush and, and all these different toys. No, that's not the answer at all. Trust me, if I had more money, I would have bought a better Jeep. That way we'd have less to fix, and get to our goal a lot sooner. Buying that one bracket that I saw for $95, $100 would be way, way more efficient to do than me to fabricate anything than get it powder coated. It's already powder coated, so it's, it's already rust free and, and all the work's been done for me. However, I don't like the design completely, so what I'm thinking is I'll design my own. And then after I do that and it works and it, everything works out, then I wanna mass produce them. I wanna make my own as long as I can find two parts though, if I can't find the two parts, then I can't really mass produce them. And those two parts are the rubber grommets that go on the bottom of this radiator. So like I said, there's sit something like this. Mine's gonna sit something like that. So what that allow to happen is to take all that air that goes in between the passenger and the driver, shoot at that radiator, cool down the coolant, and then cool down your engine. That's the idea at least. I hope I can find the grommets because I'd love to mass produce a part. I think it'd be just as cool to make a part for the Jeep as well. Or heck, maybe a couple parts. I don't know. Well, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself yet. I do want to do that part though to begin with. I kind of forgot my tripod at home, but this, uh, this drill press should work good. Yeah, it looks good right about there. So a few weeks ago, I spoke with a guy named Scott from Yamaha, and he said, hey, how do you like the machine? And is it performing as well as you wanted it to? And I'm like, yeah, dude, the, the machine's killer. Of course, just like me, I'm proud of my content. They're proud of, you know, what they manufacture. Everybody's proud of what they do, right? So they're like, well, that's really good. So they said they, they liked what we were doing here at 3D Machines, and uh, they wanted to send us some stuff, it looks like. And like how we were just talking about time, and then they sent a watch. Max has sent a clock. Over there, the Maxxis, so I got a Maxxis clock, I got a Yamaha watch, maybe 3D Machines has to get into the time game. I also sent a knife, a beanie, and a new headlight. 
Yama, thank you very much. Scott, you're the best. Yeah, as you can see, my old headlight has seen better days. There's nothing right here in this one. This one's not too bad. But now that we got all those plastics off, now is the time to replace it. So let's go ahead and do that. Turn on our battery kill. No key. I need the key. I got the key. I brought the key. Thank goodness. I take the key out of crash because I don't want anybody breaking in here. Even though we have security and everything like that, you can never be too safe. Let's just say that. Oh, both headlights are working. Two are there. Two are there. High beams. It's looking pretty froggy fresh to me. They work. No more broken headlights. All you guys with OCD, you guys can relax now, thanks to Scott. And just like that, it's raining in the Empire State. Now I'm gonna go up, pick up my tailgate. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I went and dropped off my tailgate. It's done now, it's been done for like a week. Um, I've been waiting for like crappy weather like this so I can go grab it. So we're gonna have like a brand new truck now because the tailgate is the only thing with any imperfections at this point in time. Hopefully, I don't have any more deer now. And just like that, we're back from the paint shop to the warehouse, checking out the tailgate. Check it out, you guys. So here's the old one. It's doing the same thing that the rest of the truck did, and that's why the rest of the truck has been painted. It had the adhesive instead of the screws on the last spoiler, I guess you call it. Somebody also dropped something really, really heavy there. If you look, it just bows like this. But here's the new one. It's got the bolt-on spoiler. Uh, they even assembled the spoiler for me. I got new hinges and everything for it, but this thing is looking sweet. It's a little dusty because it's been sitting around the shop. So now it's time to disassemble this thing, use some of its parts, then we'll have a brand new Duramax. I'm excited. So for you that don't know, my truck is actually dark blue. Dark colors do not do good with cameras. If you guys are looking here, you can see that my new my new cables stick out. I hate that, so I'm going to remove them. I, I wish I knew that when I was putting them on because I would have bent them right away, but now I have to take them back off to rebend them. Probably also see a key here. Yes, I do have a locking tailgate now. I think last year, or maybe the, even the year before that, Joe sent me a plastic guard for my tailgate. Joe, thank you very much. But before he did that, I actually bought the whole locking mechanism, the whole locking thing right here. And if you guys want to lock your tailgates, I think they make these things for everything, whether like it's a Jeep that has like a swinging tailgate or like a pickup truck that has the dropping tailgate. I'll leave that in the description and the comment section so you guys can check that out. It's also linked to my Amazon store so you guys can see like the things that I use. And it's cool because if you see something else like in the future or in the past videos, you can go on that. It shows you like a whole bunch of things I have like my uh, air truck wheel, my extension cord, and like everything else I bought off of Amazon. Yeah, it's so dark it doesn't even let the camera adjust, but I have those things bent so they're not coming out of the truck anymore. I have the new decal on there, phoneatmachinemerch.com. Now this lock mechanism, I am not impressed at all. I would give it a two stars only because it looks good. The lock itself is a pain. Now it may work on other vehicles. It's not working on the Duramax. It would need some modification. I don't want to mess with any modifications on that lock mechanism. I don't need to lock anything anyways. I thought it was a good idea though if you've ever tried one of those things leave it in the comment section below let me know if it works or if it does not work i'm probably i'm thinking i want to move that tailgate the old tailgate and put it somewhere on the wall for kind of like you know tailgating i was thinking about putting a big machine decal on it and using it as a seat because i think we only have one chair in here but that's okay because usually we're moving right i'm sorry i haven't uploaded in a few days mother's day was crazy when it stops raining i'll have to finally silicone that thing in so it's not just hanging out like that the Duramax is moving forward. I hope you guys are as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, 3D Machines out.